Hello, ladies and gentlemen, there's a very complicated recipe for making butter. Yep, that stuff. So this is incredibly easy to make. There really is just one ingredient, double cream, but I use salt as well because, you know, I like salt in my butter. You'll need a stand mixer or a food processor or something mechanical like that. So scrape all your cream in there and um, the cream needs double cream in the UK. In other places you might call it heavy cream. It's got to be like 40% fat. I'm using the whisk attachment because the last time I did this, because I have done a video for this before, which I got rid of because it was one of those videos that was rubbish. And I used the paddle attachment. And what happened was, when it was red, when it was finished, it just sprayed my entire kitchen with buttermilk. So the whisk, I think, is better, even though it's a bit of a faff later. It takes about three minutes or so. I've sped this up quite a lot to uh, to save that because that would be an interesting video. In a minute, it gets a bit clogged up on the side of the bowl, so I scrape it down. You can see it changing now. It's gone way, way past where you would want normal whipped cream to be. You've ruined it. The chef's shouting at you, what the hell have you done, Woods? Pay attention. Sorry, chef. Or as we say, je suis désolé, chef. All right, so back on with it. Much I can say really while we're watching this. There you go. See now it's getting to the point where it's really, really ruined as cream, but it's not quite separated yet as butter. I'm thinking, is it? No, it's not quite there. What you're really looking for is you want the the butter milk that's going to be the, the basically the byproduct of this, which is also delicious, to look like milk, um, not at all like sort of a single cream. So. In a minute, I double check again. I even take out the whisk attachment because I think hey, it might be there, but it's not there. So go past this stage. Don't need to do what I'm doing here. Don't need to take out the whisk. It's not ready yet. And it will be absolutely blooming obvious when it is ready. So I should know better, really, because I have made this a couple of times before. But no, it's not there. Back down. And we get to the point, I'm a bit worried about my stand mixer, it's on its last days, the motor is going and you could uh, stop it because the motor was about to give, but there, that is done, it is obvious. What we have all stuck in the whisk attachment is butter and that lovely milky mixture below is buttermilk. But it's not like the buttermilk you can buy you know, if you want to make uh, a certain southern fried chicken style because it's very thin and runny, so I don't know how that stuff is thick, I'll have to look into that. This is a bit of a faff. You've got to pick it out from the whisk attachment, but you get there in the end. I've sat mine in my sieve. I decided not to use my conical strainer, which was a mistake because I broke my sieve. This is how that happened. So I thought, press this down and, oh, oh dear. Oops few expletives may have been uh, dished out there. Right, so with a handleless sieve now, keep pressing until they get to the point where you think you can get it all up together. I'm going to tidy up that milk on the table in a minute. I'm like, oh, what am I doing? Put that there and that there, pull that in there. <laughs> Bit of entertainment there. Right, so got it into one piece give it a really good squeeze if you've got some muslin cloth like cheesecloth by all means you can wrap it in that and really really squeeze it I get there with my hands I'm obviously super super clean hands of course what we need to do is magically make a plate appear there it is We're out of uh, out of nowhere that's handy I want to pour out the last little lumpy bits of butter that was still in that buttermilk there get that Bit of a dither there. 
And you might be wondering to yourself, so how much yield do you get from that buttermilk? Well, there you go. I got 200 mils plus, I suppose, whatever went on the uh, work surface. Iced water. Super cold ice water. This is really good for cleaning up and getting out all the last little bits of buttermilk from the surface. But also, I quite like to leave it in there for a couple of minutes because it firms it up a bit. It makes it easier to do this. I've got some crinkled up baking parchment there. It's pretty obvious what I'm doing. You can see. For me now, what I want to do is because I want to add some nice flaky mold and sea salt. I haven't measured it particularly. I'd say that would have been like a heat teaspoon. It's to taste really, isn't it? And then just by really just forming that into a log, I'm kind of mixing that in. It's not exact. And then I use the paper to wrap this thing up. So that looks really cool. So if people come around for dinner and you put that like on the table next to some bread, they're gonna go, you made some butter, haven't you? And there you go, the yield. So that was basically about what you get when you buy a whole packet of butter. So cost-wise, it's not really any cheaper than buying butter, but you've just got the satisfaction that you've made it. And here we are, I'm thinking, what's the best thing to dis, you know, to showcase this butter? I know, I'll put it on some toast. So here's some toast. Here's putting the butter on. And any self-respecting Englishman like myself, you don't have toast without having marmalade. So of course I get the old marmalade out. And again, a cup of English breakfast tea. And there you go. As Sting said, he likes his toast done on one side. I don't know about that. Has anyone ever had toast done on one side? It's a bit weird. But there you go. So that was, I thought, that's the end of my video. And I was thinking, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. So, made a jacket potato. Just fresh out the oven. Nice and crispy. And if enough people watch this video, we are going to get Spud You Like back in business. I just wish I had Isaac Haynes or Barry White to do a bit of voiceover for this. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. I really do appreciate you being here. Take time to thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you're brand new. I really appreciate it. And just to finish this video while I polish off this jacket potato, there's only one scene I could think of with butter, and that is Alice Tinker on the Vicar of Dibley. I can't believe the stuff that is not, I can't believe it's not butter, is not, I can't believe it's not butter. And I can't believe that both I can't believe it's not butter and the stuff that I can't believe is not I can't believe it's not butter are both in fact not butter what a classic <laughs>